Bon dia guys, good morning, welcome back. I'm back in Girona. I had an amazing three weeks in Australia. I'm in a long sleeve t-shirt. Sunny weather is no longer here. The sunny weather I left behind in Australia. I'm back in Girona. To be honest though, the sun is shining, but it is cold. Minus two degrees outside in Australia today, 36 degrees. That's almost a 40 degree temperature swing. The body's not dealing with it too well. I'm inside, I've got the air conditioning on and I'm trying to stay warm. And I'm a bit behind the eight ball, I'm not gonna lie. This week, I haven't done a lot of filming. I wanna get a video out to you guys and tell you a little bit more about my story. Why did I move to Drona? This week's video is not like the other thousand videos that exist online. Why you should move to Girona. Why Girona is an amazing place to be. Why Girona is a shit place to be. This video is not about that. This video is about why I moved to Girona. The drivers behind me leaving sunny Perth and moving to this little town on the coast of the Costa Brava. Rewind three years. I just finished an event in Andorra. I was there with my dad and two mates and we just finished a video about Everesting, three different mountains in three different countries in three different days. I'm gonna provide a link above so that you guys can watch that video. We wrapped things up and we decided that we had, yeah, we still had another couple of days before we had to fly home. We thought, let's come to Girona and see what all the hype's about. And while we're here, let's show what's film. So we showed a film about a video I shot a couple of years prior. The Taiwan KOM four times non-stop back to back. I'm gonna leave that one above too, in case you guys haven't seen that. So we're up to Girona, amazing little place. I had actually been here prior in 2013, 2014, I don't know, a couple of years prior, but you know, I've come here to visit on a holiday. This time, I thought I was doing the same thing. I thought I was coming to Girona to visit. I got here and immediately I noticed that there were opportunities. There was opportunities to work with different brands. There was opportunities to work with different people. There was opportunities to collaborate. There was opportunities for me to create a career in ultra cycling. Now, coming from Perth, Western Australia, a small town on the Southwest coast of the Big Island, there's not a lot happening there. There have been a number of world-class cyclists that have come from Perth, but it's not a cycling paradise, it's not a cycling mecca. Jai Hindley, Ben O'Connor, Luke Durbridge, Ken Meyer, just to name a few. Don't get me wrong, the cycling is great, but if you want to make a career out of ultra cycling, it's not the place to be. So I got to Girona, all these opportunities came at me, and I thought, you know what? If I want to make a career out of this, I really need to be here. I had a house in Australia, and I had a dog in Australia. These were the only things connecting me there other than family and friends. And you know what? I thought, I'm gonna give this a stab. I'm gonna give it a go. And if it doesn't work, sure, I'll be back to Australia. If it does work, you know, potentially I can create a life here. It's been a hard three years with COVID, not being able to see family. I've pushed myself harder than I've ever pushed myself before. I've pushed myself outside of my comfort zone and I've loved every minute of it. I have to say, I did a move to Girona for the coffee. I didn't move to Girona for the weather. I didn't move to Girona for the fact that it's close to Barcelona. I didn't move to Girona because it was cheap. I didn't move to Girona because there were other cyclists here. I moved to Girona because of the opportunity. And I'm thankful that I did so because it's been great. Now, I know there are other people that moved to Girona for different reasons. And I thought as part of this video, I would share that with you. I asked the question of a couple of my mates. Why did you move to Girona? And here are their answers. Really quality of life, just quality of life. I moved to Girona for the, actually mostly riding and the sunshine. Like I was like, I came from the Netherlands and there's a lot of rain and cold weather. Oh, well now it's cold here, but like at least it's sunny and the landscape and riding is amazing. Girona is an amazing place. There are amazing little cafes. The people are incredibly friendly. The sun does shine all throughout the year. It does get cold, but again, the sun is shining. There are medieval buildings. There's cute shops lining the streets. One of the great things about Girona that I've since learned having moved here is that there is access to amazing doctors, there's amazing physios, there's amazing gyms, there's amazing facilities that cater for cyclists. And I think having moved here, this is one of the things that I've really noticed. The ability to access help when help is needed is very accessible. 
I jump on my bike, I jump in the car, within five minutes I'm at a doctor, within two minutes I'm at a bike shop, within 10 minutes I'm able to ride on amazing roads without cars. There are things that I've since noticed Girona is amazing for, but it's not the reason I moved here. The reason I moved here is because Girona is a great place for me to network, it's a great place for me to connect. There are endless possibilities, there's endless opportunities, and for that, I am here. As you guys can see, Girona isn't a bad place to be based. The sun's out, it's January, it's cold, we've got a jacket on, we're keeping warm, we've had good coffee, we've been for a stroll, we're enjoying the best of this off season. I've got someone behind me that's a little bit nervous to be on camera, but that will no doubt change. <laughs> <laughs> this is my partner, I'm getting scared. <laughs> So while this is a short video, I hope it's been an insightful video and I hope it's different to the other videos you've seen about Girona. This video is not about why you should move to Girona, it's about why I moved to Girona and why it's played an important part of my story. I love this place, will I stay here? Good question. We spent some time in Tenerife last year, next week we're actually off to Mallorca for a couple of days. Potentially these are places where we could base ourselves too, but for now, Girona's home. I would love to hear if you guys have suggestions on where else we could base ourselves. So to wrap this week's vlog up, I moved here because of the opportunities and I've since realized that there are other reasons that a cyclist should be based here. The weather, Barcelona, the food, the coffee, the community, amazing roads, the amazing scenery, you name know, it. Girona has everything, but those are not the reasons I moved here. Opportunity is why I'm here. Hope that's been helpful. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like, subscribe, watch those other videos, and I will see you next week.